Hey everybody, this is Josh with Flips, Finds, and Fun. If you stumbled across this video, I am a part-time eBay reseller, and this is part two to a father and son thrifting adventure that we did. If you missed part one, um, I'm going to put a card up in this video later to where you can just enjoy that first part, but we're, we, it's a lot of footage to cover, so we're going to jump right into it. Thanks for hanging out today, and let's check it out. Been running around. A little bit. It was a, it was a bit of Aaron running and and all that. Get myself in the mix here. Let's see. You might have to move stuff. Oh, I do. I just try to pick a starting and, and point. Don't, and don't worry about. You know, put it back exactly. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I want to make sure that, you know. And that's a uh, uh, telescope in that blue bag right there. Oh. Uh, and then you just holler. Look at the baby Taz going. <laughs> it's a baby Taz. Why? Because they did little baby Looney Tunes at one time. I remember that show yep. yep just holler if you need me will do oh and uh do you know anybody that buys me so stoles mm -hmm. i didn't think so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that thing yeah it's got to be a specialty <laughs> person Dad, can you go like this? oh you like you like the suitcase huh mm -hmm. No, I don't need the suitcase. Look, there's a Monopoly game. Where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Monopoly game. Hmm? Not till Christmas. It doesn't need them till Christmas. It has one. It has one on. It has one. Let's see, buddy. I hear something. <coughs> Look, found these little cars. Oh, are they? It's making the sound. I'm gonna go to the playground. I'm gonna have a playground after this. Mm-hmm. I don't think we, we can walk there. Can walk we'll there? drive there, then we can walk. What's your favorite color, Dad? Green. Oh, yeah? Bam 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 Bum, 
No, those aren't regular flowers, buddy. Those are flowers for if somebody passes away. Yeah, they're not real. <clears throat> oh, they move. Oh, they move? Uh -huh. It means they're real. Mm. They move. No. What? What? <clears throat> you don't want to? I heard a sound. That was just something in the box. And Whoa. Right there? No. In your box? What was it? in the box. Being silly. Bum 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 b
Burn it. Do you mind if I heat up my lunch? Go for it. Okay. Yeah, that's your house. <laughs> <laughs> Cable. 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 The magnetic. I mean, I'm not sure how many snow uh, shovels one person needs. <laughs> Sticks together. Draw them. Now pull it apart. You can keep pulling. Pull them all apart. Pull it apart real fast. Uh -uh. See? Now watch. Let them go back together. And I'm then watch. Not gonna do it. Just do that one. <gasps> they all stuck. I did all of them. You did all of them? And that's going to show they are going to be trapped. Forever. I'm not going to let you out. I'm gonna trap here forever. I mean. Don't have me tra trapped for forever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're just kidding? You're not gonna trap me for forever? We'll, we'll have them all together. Look. Not trap forever because look. You can. I'm not trapped forever. So yeah, that was just our fun little private pick we got to do at my friend's house. She was just uh, letting me come through, like to go through all the stuff she was going to put in her yard sale that's for next week and was able to just find some pretty cool stuff. But if you watched part one and now you're watching part two, um, we're going to go through all the finds. Like I said, the first couple of stores were a little slow. You only saw footage on a couple of those. And then I missed the footage on the very last one we did. This was after our fun time at the park, the private yard sale pick. We stopped by one last thrift store, but I'm going to cover everything we found in this ne next little clip. And it was a really good day. So let's check into that stuff. All right. So from just the thrift stores, these were, um, so Goodwill, I think I... I think I went to like four or five thrift stores, and this was all that I got. Not bad stuff. Um, got this 2002 Looney Tunes Wiley Coyote plush. Stay right there, buddy. Got Steamboat Willie. We're probably going to keep that. We have quite a Mickey collection. Um, just fun stuff that we find. This guy was pretty cool. Not super valuable, but he is a Toys R Us. There's a tag right there. It's a Toys R Us branded... If I can get the zoom, I'm upside down. But it was part of the Jeffrey line. Um, I actually found some soul comps. I think they're 12 to $15. As you can see, I only paid $1.50, so not too bad. Got these at my first stop. These are some Wolverine size 13 boots. Plus another pair of Wolverine boots. They'll both clean up pretty good. 
Got this nice pair of Brooks Ghost Tins. Pretty good tread, a little flat there, but um, overall in incredible condition. I got this Nike Just Do It. Um, this still feels really, really fresh as far as like the print on there. Um, not sure if it was worn. Didn't have a lot of um, wear on it at all. I mean, should bring in a decent 20, 25 bucks. And then, you know, me and my yarn, you know, anytime I can get this big bag for nine bucks and kind of how I look at it is I see one, two, three, those three together will probably do 15 up. Oh, there's four. So we can take that up to close to 20. And then I see a few more with the labels on them. I will bulk together stuff without labels and just weigh it by the pound and try to put, you know, light colors and styles together. Um, but yeah, so for instance, this $9 bag low end uh, will get me 40 to 50 bucks. So not a bad find from the thrift stores. Now I'm going to quickly cover with you uh, stuff from that private yard sale. All right, so now this is the stuff that I was able to get from my friend. Um, if I didn't say it already, she said, hey, putting some stuff together for a yard sale. Do you want to come go through it first? And... Um, yeah, so I'll cover with you some of the stuff I got. I'm out here in the back sunroom, and as you can see, we are getting a downpour right now. But let me quickly cover this two pair of Crocs. Um, They're pretty nice. Under here are some of those like little yard flags. We got some of those to go through personally. We like them, but if if not, sell them for a couple bucks. Got this body gym set. Don't think it's been used, or if it has. Still pulling a couple bucks. Um, here, if I can unzip this. This is a Garmin. I'm not sure what series. But with the charger. So, I thought that was a pretty good find. I've seen them go for a couple bucks here and there. So, yeah. Screen's in good shape. So, that'll be good. This is the... Little House on the Prairie complete set with box. Not sure on the year. I still got to do some info on that, but that should go pretty good. Just a nice pair of leather gloves that we're actually going to keep. There are three of these gossip watches. Um, I actually got one of these. Um, these are new. They'll go for about 15 to 20 bucks. I got one of these prior um, to this same person when I got a big bulk lot. Um, so I know they'll sell. They don't take up a lot of space. Um, and they're good to just list and, you know, stick them on there and wait for them to sell. Um, this giant Fear Bradley bag. Um, this thing is nice. I wanted to see, you know, if anybody, you know, my wife or something, let her look at it and stuff. But yeah, we'll probably list it for sale. That'll do really well. This lantern down here, if I don't keep that. Um, another nice little product that'll sell. And then this knife, the the spring load on there is busted, or the lock. I'll see if I can mess with it a little bit. But this one, this one's got some age to it. And it's a good size knife. Um, so I'll do a little more research on this one. Yeah, lock blade works. Needs a little bit of cleaning. Um, that was a pretty good find. And then the last thing I kept them here in this box were these little Chevron uh, gas station vehicles I know nothing about. Um, but they'll clean up pretty good. They're all still in the box. Don't know if there's a series or what. But there's 12 of them here. So um, pretty good little find. And um, She also gave me just some free stuff personally for me and my son since we were hanging out yesterday. She knew we were coming and she said, hey, I want to give some stuff to, to you guys because you're such, you know, we're good friends and she helps me with my full-time job and all that. So um, really good finds, but now we're going to get into the last thrift store. So everything else you're going to see came from one store. So everything you've seen so far was five stops. So let's get into that. So here's some of the stuff that I got at that last thrift store. So, and there's there's more to come. There's still some toys that were here. Two Avengers toys, uh, this little like Ultron goggles set you wear and you shoot Ultron. And then the uh, 
The Falcon actually has a, like a little wing that he shoots off of his wrist. They were brand new in the package. My son already claimed those. I, I, I bought them for him anyway. But I'll go over some of the other stuff because he hasn't grabbed yet. Grabbed this. I think it was missing one or two markers, but it was the Crazy Art Carousel set. That's actually going to go for my son. They're washable markers, so they're good for him. And actually, these boxing gloves. They will actually go to him as well. He enjoys having some boxing gloves. He took some over to a family member's house, and one of the gloves got destroyed. So these will just be something fun for him to toss around. Picked up these awesome Nikes here. Colorway is really unique. Um, they're in incredible shape. Got those for $5.50. Got these Air Maxes right here. They're a really good find. Still good tread. Got those for $5.50 as well. Got these J Crew flats. Look up the comps on these if you haven't before. Um, bottom, I, I don't know how they grade the bottom, but I really look for the color and feel on the outside. You have the logo right there, but I was surprised by comps on those, so I've been looking for them. Got these right here, these Adidas All Terrain women's shoes. Paid $5.50 on those. Pick this up. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a bend in the wheel, but it was just a monster truck until I noticed. There, uh, yep, get it to focus. Maybe. No, nope. just thinking about it. Well, you guys can see it. It's that Hot Wheels tag right there. It's a Hot Wheels monster truck. Gonna kind of look that up. These were pretty unique. I honestly thought these were from the movie uh, Shazam, but then I looked closer and it had some Power Rangers logos. These are 2001 Bandai Power Rangers. They're the full flex body. Don't know a lot on the comps or values. Same with this guy. It's always awesome. It is the cartoon animated Batman. Don't know the history on it, but it's in great shape. Um, I paid $3.25 on each one of those, so we'll see what we do. This whole back row, we have Build-A-Bear, the Build-A-Bear Christmas dog. Build-A-Bear Halloween kitty. Need to trim up the loose strings on the nose. Smurfette Build-A-Bear. A Koala Build-A-Bear with the uh, Build-A-Bear military outfit. Not a Build-A-Bear, but it is a bear. This nice vintage, he's behind the lamp there. Awesome Winnie the Pooh. Wearing the sweet patch Bass Pro Shop mesh trucker with tags. And it is the Youngin. So, Youngin tag, I don't know much on it. It's an incredible shape. Um, doubt it's that old, that I, you know, as old as I think it would be, but still a good hat will bring in some good money. And then uh, my wife, Mrs. Slips, is going to help me show you some of the shirts that I found, and I found some good ones. Yeah, so I got this uh, Columbia, Tennessee Volunteers jacket, size large. I'm probably going to keep this one, you know, go Vols. Um, and, uh, like, it was in, in great shape. So, good little pickup there. Right here we have this, <laughs> nope, not today, it's a Christmas sweater. The tacky Christmas sweaters, if you see them, uh, grab them. We don't know what this, you know, Q4 is really going to look like, but in history's past, these things do fly off the shelf. So if you get them at a good price, yard sales, thrift stores, wherever, um, pick them up when you see them. So someone definitely dropped off a bunch of their, they must have been Georgia fans. So this is an Allstate uh, Sugar Bowl. New Orleans, January 1st, 2008, University of Georgia versus University of Hawaii. So not vintage, but anytime you find stuff that's playoff or uh, Super Bowl, bowl game, World Series, anything like that that has, let me see if I can get a, that kind of tag to it right there. Always good to pick up. Here's that other uh, Georgia shirt that I found. Like I said, must have been the same person. They're the same size. Georgia versus West Virginia Sugar Bowl 2006. As I said, make sure you got something that, that gives it a date, a time, or something that a collector would say, hey, I missed grabbing that shirt. So part of the deal that Goodwill does, you know, they, they'll charge a certain amount for a shirt. I think it's like $4 or you get two for five. So sometimes I buy additional shirts to help compensate that cost if I'm finding stuff. But I also like to find shirts for my friends. This will go out to my buddy Mike. Live every day like your Batman. It's his size. Uh, he's a Batman fan. 
we can talk later about what I think about Batman, but this will be a cool little shirt that I found that helps me get a deal on another shirt because I did get a ton. You're going to see a bunch more here in just a second. So this one on the front, it just says it's a basic Virginia Tech shirt, but I got this one because of the bat graphic. It's not old. It's homecoming 2016, but that does help. It's homecoming from a certain year and then this bat graphic on a mission with winning tradition. So um, when you find a front graphic, having that bat graphic will help even when it's not vintage. It's college. It, it's got a good clean image. The shirt looks good. Not a high comp, maybe 12 to $15. Yeah, if you're like me, this shirt already stands out. It's a West Virginia shirt, but it is neon uh, green, yellow, however you interpret that. Um, once again, because I get a deal on those other shirts, why not pick another shirt up uh, to get it at that 250 price range that will still bring in that 12 to $15. Uh, same thing here, this Darth Vegan, cool graphic. Uh, I figured it's it's got enough of like that little, little niche to a buyer. But once again, got it for 250, should bring in probably about 12 bucks. So as you see here, uh, another shirt, good little find. I don't know the exact comps on them. We've just, hey, Vineyard Vines is a good brand. It's got the little pocket logo on the front, but it has the USA flag logo, big and bold on the back. Good little find. As far as clothing, I don't typically go for it, but this was definitely the, the best find that I've had in a while. Um, I love, you know, the sports memorabilia stuff, but this is a Super Bowl that is uh, 33. Denver versus the Falcons. And if you look down at the bottom, 1999 in Miami, Florida. Super Bowl vintage tee on the pro player tag. So that was a really, really good pickup that I was able to get for $2.50. So there you go. Those were all the finds. You know, thank you for hanging out for part two. If you missed part one, I'm going to have the card right here. You can click on that one. Check out this fun adventure. We, we got so much footage. I didn't even get all the footage, but I had to do it in two parts because it was going to be a pretty long video. Um, but wanted to just show you guys the fun you can have with your family um, and go out and do some sourcing and stuff. This was just a fun adventure uh, that my son, known as Four Flips, that's <laughs> his name he's given himself, but that's what he calls it. It's an adventure time. You know, we get to go find some cool stuff. He's not the most amazed at that time, but he knows that we're going to go find something cool to do maybe some cool toys or gadgets to like play with. Uh, so I want to say thank you for just hanging out for that whole time. Just to recap a little bit, um, I total spent on the whole day doing that, you know, minus lunch with my son, but we spent $195 and my wife and I crunched all the numbers. We're looking at a profit, not, not just sales, but a profit of $600 on all that. So it is possible to go out there and have some fun and make some money. You know, most of my sales are primarily on uh, primarily on eBay. Um, I sell a few things on Facebook Marketplace and we're exploring other, other avenues now. But hey, it is that easy. So if you're watching, maybe you stumbled across this because you just like the fun of doing stuff. This is the fun that we like to have on this channel. Flips, finds, and fun. Thanks for hanging out. Would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And hey, we'll talk to you soon. I'm looking forward to it. Leave some comments. Let me know your questions and I'll talk to you soon.